Chain Investing News Network. Joining me today at BRIC is David Sudu, President and CEO of Advantage Lithium. Thank you for joining me today, David. Thank you very much for having me. All right. So recently you announced that uh, the company's partner, you and Nevada Sunrise Gold, would begin phase two drilling near uh, production wells. What is the biggest highlight from the announcement investors should know about? In Nevada right now where we have some assets, Jocelyn, we've uh, drilled, uh, have a six-hole program in, in Nevada in Clayton Valley, northeast, where uh, the giant Albemarle, who's the only producer in North America, um, has been producing there for 40 years now. And we drilled three holes there that had probably the best results that any juniors had in Nevada. And we are very excited about that. And on the heels of that, we're going to in the first quarter of 2017 Great. and that'll be six holes we'll have drilled and uh, the first three were very successful and we've got Albemarle's attention I think they're wondering who's this young junior company having some success that that's uh, you know unlike anything they've seen down there. Great that's awesome. Uh, so in November 2016 Advantage Lithium and Oracle signed the agreement where Advantage would acquire 75% interest in Oracle Bray's, uh Kachari project and 100% interest in five other projects. Yes. How have investors reacted to this partnership so far? Well, we're just about to close a large financing right now, so it's been actually a very, very good uh, response. I had a road show that I did just before Christmas. Uh, I went to Toronto, Montreal, New York, and then uh, Asia and Australia, where a lot of the Cora Cobra shareholders are. Okay. And we saw a lot of big, big money people, large funds, uh, institutions, and they were very impressed with what we've done with Advantage Lithium in the last six months. We've got a tremendous team there. We've got the ability to raise capital and we've got some great assets now in Argentina that are all in the middle of Solaris. But the key one that you did mention is the Cuchari asset. And that's where all the action's happening right now. Last week, Lithium Americas, which is which is in the Cuchari Basin as well, just announced up to a quarter billion dollars of deals with two Chinese battery making companies. And that's very significant for us. So we're the envy, I think, of a lot of juniors because we're right in the right in the thick of where all the action is, where all the short-term production is going to happen here in Lithium in Argentina in the next couple of years. Great. What do you think is going to happen this year? Is there anything more significant that will uh, come out of that? That's a very good question. We have five holes permitted in Kochari now, uh, and we're going to start drilling in the first quarter, probably in March sometime. Five holes in Kochari to delineate a very large exploration target. We've got just under 500,000 tons of lithium carbonate equivalent now proved up there in that basin, and we're going to try and prove up anywhere from another 500,000 to 5.6 million tons. And those five holes in the next two or three months are going to be very important to delineate that exploration target. So it could be big for us at Advantage Lithium. That's fantastic. Um, aside from Tesla's lithium ion giger factory, what do you think will impact the lithium sector the most this year? You know, that's an interesting question. Everybody's talking about supply and demand and price and that kind of thing. I think if you look at a big company like Albemarle, they've actually gone back into exploration. They've been producing for many years and they've come back into exploration in Argentina, where it's a, it's a very popular and easy place to work. You can get your permits there. The government's very you know, pro-development um, and mining. And they've come into a solar called Antofaya that's just south of ours. So we're the northern part of the solar. They're the southern part. I think you're going to see more more companies like that come into exploration and validate the fact that supply in the next four to five years is going to be short and lithium and you need to go back into exploration to develop more. Right, and that makes sense. Um, now that Donald Trump is president of the U.S., uh, how do you think uh, Trump presidency is going to impact the resource market? Wow, that's the, so far the Trump effect has been very positive. I think the, the, the administration there is very pro, you know, oil and gas and mining. Um, it's very easy for us to work in Nevada where we're working right now. Um, and I think the market the next couple years is going to be very, very strong. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not into really into politics or anything like that, but I see right now from the markets the way they've responded with the election that we're going to see the next couple years very, very strong. Great. Uh, finally, are there any other companies that you're watching this year or that are, are making big strides that you're impressed with so far? You know, I'd have to say our partner, Ora Cobre. Ora Cobre is our partner and, and joint venture partner in Cochari. We acquired five other assets from them in Argentina which are probably some of the best uh, Solars in Argentina for exploration. And uh, they're going to start increasing their production. They just started cash flowing now for the first time in a decade, 17,500 tons. They're going to increase that to hopefully 35,000, and we're hopefully going to be part of supplying that to them. You got, watch out for Ora Cobra. I think they're an up-and-coming company in Argentina that's going to improve their, their supply. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today, David. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Jocelyn Aspo with the Investing News Network.